What's going on guys? We're back for monthly mayhem vlogs. These are every Friday along with the series. So a little bit about what's going on. We posted the videos actually today. Um, I'm filming this a day in advance. Usually I would film on Thursdays, but I've got something going on tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to film, but it's kind of run down. The comments and everything have been great. You know, some people didn't like that we weren't doing our normal type of vehicle and uh, had something to say about using a basher, but you know, these are just kind of fun. There's something new for us to do. So, but there was a bunch of good comments, things like that. Some people either didn't listen to the rules or just didn't want to understand them. And we're saying we should strap a drone to the top, but that would obviously be a lot more than one motor typically and things like that. So I've got my car over here on the floor. Just as you saw it yesterday. Um, so I've got some initial thoughts for this, uh, but we'll see exactly how that goes. This is the uh, the battery that they gave us. This is a 3S4500 35C. So it's not a crazy battery, but it should push the car fine. Whether or not it will push the additional motor, I think that's what's really going to be the task. Now onto that subject. Um, so this box showed up today from A-Man and it might look like a lot of extra cardboard, but what that is, as you can see, is already laser cut. What I did is I picked up two of the flight test planes. Now these are basically a flat plane that's cut out like this um, and you get to put it together. Now this one here is the like kind of like the FPV wing style and this one is more of a traditional plane. Um, those things are super cheap, like 10, 12 bucks each. So I just picked up a couple just to look at or possibly use portions of, who knows? I don't know, I'm winging this. I am actually extremely worried I'm going to just completely fail at this challenge and have just, just carnage and failure after failure every week. So I'm a little concerned. Now, like I said, at the beginning, we have to use that standard ramp until the last weeks. And you know, at the end, I have to go all out. I'll I'll do it and, and I've got some ideas for that. But what I would like to do is use the first few weeks to test and make sure that whatever I'm trying to use is going to function for whatever I try and do for the finale to make it uh, somewhat spectacular. You know, Matt is such a nice guy that he goes through and replies to every comment you put on his videos. So sometimes he gives away a little bit of what he's going to do. I went through and I read and I, I saw a little bit of some of the things that he hinted at, which makes me, you know, I, I have a little bit of idea, idea, we'll see. Now in that box of parts from A-Main, I also picked up a couple of other things. Um, one is this, uh, what, the, what was this? This is a 40 amp ESC. And I picked that up because the motor I picked up said it needed at least like 30 amps or 35 amps, something like that. So I picked up a 40. But then the motor showed up and I realized that I just weigh, I didn't pay attention or something. And that's the motor. This is a 50 millimeter EDF. I don't think this is gonna cut it. This thing is just, is tiny. And you know, it, I went back and looked and I seriously, I have no idea. It clearly said 50 millimeters. I read it. I know metric, I prefer the metric system. I don't know how I didn't compute that that was just not enough motor. So I need to see if I can find or source reasonably and quickly a much larger EDF. Um, the reason that I'd like to have an EDF is because I think I can protect it more than trying to put a five or six inch prop on the back and try and use that. Now I've got prop motors, I've got some Mr. Steel um, uh, props or some Mr. Steel motors here uh, from the quadcopter stuff, that would be an option. I had those as spares from my Teal FPV drone. That's an option, but I don't know that, uh, what I haven't been able to find is any sort of conversion between what a single, say five inch FPV style prop produces for lift versus what a 50 millimeter or 100 millimeter ducted fan does. So I don't know yet. This is so far outside of anything I know how to do. There's lots of people who have taken made RC cars fly. That's not that hard. You can put a big ass wing on it and put enough motors on it and it'll go. But with our, our two foot wingspan, 
we're not making it fly. We're we're gonna try and make it glide or control the the descent of some sort. And then lots of times the plane also has a rudder or things like that. Now, granted, I've got an FPV wing here. It doesn't have a rudder or anything like that. It's only got ailerons, but um, I don't know. This is this thing is heavy. So the size of it, the amount of wings you would need to lift that is a lot. I think for the first time in any series I've done with Matt, I beat him on the intro though. I'm putting that as a point on my scoreboard already. So we're starting off on a good foot. In the comments that I was speaking of that Matt was saying, I did see that he was thinking a parachute. And I, I obviously, I think we all could kind of can take that as a, a conclusion that that would be a, a decent idea. Um, so I've been doing a little parachute shopping you know, I've, I've been quite surprised at some of the options I've found and I think that that is actually going to be much easier than I had initially anticipated. So I should have a couple of options here to test uh, before too long. What I am going to have to test is how quickly they deploy, what size will actually support the weight, if I'll need multiples. I think I'll try and use some sort of test dummy rather than actually hucking the car I have off the roof or something like that. I have a lot of obstacles to really overcome before this becomes some sort of functional uh, experiment. For now, I do have some parts 3D printing, early basic parts, we'll see how that goes. Uh, you know, shelf of projects here on the wall, and then the other shelf of projects. And that's the other thing is that we've got monthly mayhem starting now, and I actually have a bunch of other stuff that I've got to get finished within this time. Uh, I've got my VS410 tiny tire truck here, this is on the 4.19 Proline Hyraxes, and that is, I've got an event for that on like February 2nd. Next to it is the new Red Cat, and I need to go do some running video of that, and I want to do some running video of it next to the new TRX4 Sport that I've got here. Obviously those probably need to get done soon since it's what's popular and I need to get to that. Um, you know, that's a thing. Then I've got my uh, blue TRX4 and this one's getting uh, a bunch of Knight's Custom stuff as well as an air ride system. Full controllable front and rear air ride. Looking forward to that project. So in reality, I just don't have enough time at night to try and get all of these things done. So I'm just gonna keep cranking away and try and make the best showing I possibly can out of this project. No matter what, it will end spectacularly. But this is going to be a very short vlog entry um, because neither Matt or I have actually got to do any work yet. I'm probably giving away a little bit more than he probably will be uh, if I was to guess. So uh, next week will be interesting. Hopefully get a little bit of time to uh, start throwing some parts together and see what we can actually do with this thing. So that's all I got for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see them as soon as we post them. Otherwise, remember every Wednesday, every Friday. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one.